Lego Monkey Kid is a very special show that has been able to tell an incredibly compelling story with its main character. It's a show that presents us with a protagonist who must struggle with the idea of legacy and identity. I previously made a video discussing MK's journey throughout the series. In that video, I touched on his personality, his struggles, and his relationships with his mentors. So today we dive into the Monkey Kid Season 4 special to see how this chapter of MK's journey comes to an end, and to discover what makes that ending so satisfying and intriguing. <laughs> Before I get into the special itself, I really want to touch on Season 4's themes as a whole to see how they carry over. Season 4 was a big season for MK as a protagonist, as he learned a lot about himself in an effort to keep his friends safe. MK had begun to grow tired of his role as the Monkey Kid, being thrust into all these world-ending situations only to be snapped back into reality and confronted with questions about himself that he hadn't even considered, along with some that had been burning in the back of his mind for a while. Was he destined to become like Wukong? Was he destined to cause nothing but pain to him and those around him? Or could he rectify the mistakes made by Wukong in the past and become his own person through his own choices? By the end of Season 4, MK, with the help of Macaque, had realized that he actually does in fact have control over his destiny. Only you get to decide who you are, kiddo. Going to the Season 4 special, MK had to find a way to be the hero his friends needed without sacrificing his own identity, without following in the exact footsteps of Wukong and going down the same path. And while he may have felt at fault for everything that had happened, he had come to the realization that he could make decisions now to rectify his mistakes in the past, all of these things being lessons that Sun Wukong himself had to learn. episode of the special used the past of Wukong and Macaque to illustrate its message about rectifying our past mistakes. Wukong in his past shared similar motives to MK now. He wanted, more than anything else, to be able to just live life peacefully. But where he differs from MK is the lengths that he went to make that dream a reality, pushing away those closest to him to achieve his selfish desires. But another important factor of Wukong's motives was fear, and much like how Wukong feared mortality, MK fears hurting those around him. So while Wukong and MK's stories are similar, there is a clear difference that highlights MK's more positive attributes. But at the end of the day, they both must learn the same lesson. They both seek similar things, but their fears hold them back. They may not be able to fix their mistakes in the past, but they always have time to make better choices now. It's something that MK had to learn from Wukong, and it's something that Wukong needed to relearn from MK. But now we compare these two to Azure Lion. Similar to MK and Wukong, he feels a strong need to be the hero. And while in MK and Wukong's instances, they're more fueled by their motives to keep their friends safe and be at peace, Azure genuinely desires to be the good guy and help people. We're all gonna be so many times immortal soon. Ah, I'm kind of losing track of how many times I'm immortal, but... <laughs> when we triumph in this rebellion, the people will never live in fear. We're about to change everything. It creates an interesting twist where the hero's desires are more motivated by personal and perhaps even more selfish wants, while the villain's desires are motivated by more selfless wants. But the difference is that Azure doesn't learn the same lesson MK and Wukong did. Azure didn't learn from his mistakes. He never took a moment to reflect on his actions. He never took the time to think on his previous choices so that he could make better ones in the present. His stubborn attitude forced him to stick to his ideals and beliefs, despite the consequences that others had to bear. Well, MK and Wukong had to face the consequences of their past choices head on. Azure never had the chance to realize what he had been doing, not until it was too late. Everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story. Azure's always been good at convincing people he's the good guy. 
He's even fooled himself. It shows why confronting one's past can be so important, and it shows how vital it was for MK to find himself battling with a personification of his own struggles and fears. It was a rude awakening, a realization that the path he was going down wasn't good for him. He was able to discover how he could make choices today that would make him the hero he needed to be for his friends in the future. The hero he needed to be for Wukong. Help him realize that they still have time to make things right. While MK may have learned a lesson in making choices, he still hadn't overcome his fear of hurting those around him. After that run-in with his ink personification of himself, he had started to think of his powers as more of a curse. Embracing his powers in the past had only led to disaster, to pain. The last thing MK wanted to do was become like the person everyone was warning him about. And even after freeing Wukong, he held onto the sphere. He was ready to fight Azure, but he wasn't ready to give into his powers. Power is another big theme of Season 4. Azure Lion's obsession for power leads him down a dangerous path, as he's unable to control the power of the Jade Emperor. His belief that power can fix everything is misguided. It isn't the power that solves the problems, but the one who controls it. It's something that Azure and MK both must learn the hard way. And while Azure doesn't fear the consequences of what his powers are doing to others, MK does, causing him to not want to tap into that part of himself. But part of MK's journey to carve out his own path includes him finally embracing a part of himself that he had been blaming for his problems. He can't just write off his powers as a curse. So once he starts fighting with Wukong again, he realizes the importance of his abilities, stuck in a situation where his greatest fear almost comes to light. With Wukong being in danger, he has no choice but to fully embrace himself. And after seeing how Wukong had been making efforts to leave the world in a better place than he had found it, it was only a matter of time before MK finally conquered his fear of what he could do, this time embracing his monkey form and being in control. He realizes that there is no point in being afraid of what defines him. His fear of being like Wukong was based on all these stories he had heard. From Macaque, from Azure, but now that he knew how Wukong had bettered himself over time, he knew he could do the same. Azure calls MK a mindless animal, but MK reassures him that he is not mindless. He's fully in control, no longer afraid to be who he truly is. MK finally found and embraced his identity. Choice and power go hand in hand when it comes to MK's story. MK has to learn the power of choices while also choosing how to use his power. In the end, MK embraces what makes him special. He initially denies the idea of being special. He isn't all powerful, no, he's just a noodle delivery boy. That's all he wanted to be. But in order to make his dreams a reality, he had to finally embrace who he actually is by taking full control of his powers and saving the world. And in defeating Azure, he made him finally do what MK had to learn to do this whole time. Azure finally took a second to look back on what he's done, the choices he had made. Azure chose to ignore the consequences of his actions, just like MK chose to ignore his role within the world. And while doing so, Azure made a new choice, sacrificing himself and ending the conflict he had started, leaving the world in a better place than he had found it. I just wanted to make the world a better place. You still can. <laughs> You're the only one who can. <clears throat> He only wished to do good for the people of this world, but became blind in his own stubbornness. And MK was stubborn too. He didn't want to believe that he was anyone but just some kid. MK didn't want to come to terms with the fact that he had so much power and responsibility. But unlike Azure, when faced with the consequences of that, he made a change. Monkey Kid teaches us that we all have the power to change. Self-reflection and realization is powerful. Sun Wukong was down a path of self-destruction. He fed into his fears and became selfish and hostile but he then bettered himself and would strive to do better. He reflected on his past and changed. MK only wanted to have fun adventures and hang out with his friends, but when stuck with the reality of being more than just a noodle delivery boy, he refused to accept it. He felt at fault for everything instead of taking the time to think about how he could make things better. But he of course learned to embrace who he is and make choices that would help those around him. He never wanted to hurt anyone, but he was always too focused on what he wanted to see what he actually had to do in order to get there. But in the end, he finally made the choice to be who he really is. The Monkey Kid.